Back with Craig Button. When Leon Dreisaitl came back from his benching to get an assist on the game tying goal and then the winner in OT, Chris Knobloch looked like a genius. But Dreisaitl still looked a little sour in the postgame interviews. Craig, what do you think of the way Knobloch handled his former league MVP? Perfect. Coaches talk about accountability. Players talk about accountability. It's never about one player. It's about the team. Leon Dreisaitl took a very undisciplined penalty on Sunday versus the Flames. And then he takes an undisciplined penalty at the end of the second period on Tuesday night versus the Flyers. And if you're going to talk about accountability, the coach is the one that has to hold players accountable. And that's exactly what Chris Knobloch did. And when I say perfect, if you don't do that, you've lost your credibility or, or a certain measure of it. And it doesn't matter if your name's Leon Dreisaitl or any other player on the team. It's always about the team. And what Leon Dreisaitl did with that penalty, he was hurting the team. Leon Dreisaitl talked about it after the game. Yeah, I put the team in a tough spot. They have to go out and kill a penalty. All because of an undisciplined penalty by Leon Dreisaitl. And what Chris Knobloch did is exactly the right thing. And to me, it's not about how Leon Dreisaitl responds in terms of his comments after the game. He got back out there. He played very well. And Chris Knobloch knows that he's going to do exactly that. But to think that you're not going to be accountable for taking an undisciplined penalty, I don't think Leon Dreisaitl thinks that way. And certainly Chris Knobloch is not going to think any other way than holding players accountable, which is exactly what he did. Message sent and accepted. Uh, let's talk goaltending now. Stuart Skinner's allowed three or more goals in all three of his starts so far. He's now got a 4.42 goals against, 845 save percentage. Both those numbers amongst the worst in the league. At a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 means hugely concerned about him, where are you on that scale when it comes to Skinner right now? You didn't give me zero because my, my answer is zero. I have no concerns about Stuart Skinner. <laughs> Stuart Skinner started out last year. He struggled a little bit all the way to game seven of, of the Stanley Cup final. And certainly with goaltenders, when they, when they hit a rough patch, they struggle a little bit. You know, the spotlight becomes a little bit brighter on them and, and, and questions abound. But Stuart Skinner has shown me too much over too long a period of time for me to have any concern about him. I, I felt that on Sunday versus the Calgary Flames, he played pretty well. I thought last night against, on Tuesday night against the Flyers, he played really well again. So, yeah, the, the, the goals against, the, the number's going to come down, the save percentage number's going to go up. And Stuart Skinner, to me, is the backbone in the net for the Edmonton Oilers. And just like the rest of the team that hadn't been playing very well, Stuart wasn't an exception to that. But I think he's fine in his game, and I don't have any concerns about him. Things are going to get easier for Stuart and the Oilers once McDavid gets things going, but he's not alone in his struggles. McDavid and Austin Matthews have combined to win the last four Rocket Richard trophies, and neither has scored a single goal so far this season.